Hello folks, it's Rich here. It's Friday. That can only mean one thing. It's beer o'clock. Tick. Oh, where's my beer? I haven't got one. Put your shorts on, because it's 16 degrees here in the UK. Tick. Or, it's, a, it's our unboxing. Yes, it is. This is interesting. Look, gear for music again. Sorry, Alex, if you're watching. Um, this is in a regular rectangle shaped box. Whereas the one that came the other day, the Jet, came in a guitar shaped box in a box, which I've not seen before, but like, a lot less hassle than a big one if you need to send it back. Uh, so anyway, for those who don't know me, I'm Rich, I like guitars, can't play them, just like them. This is guitar number 186, I think. I had this guitar in a different colour quite some time ago, and what's going on here? Have I opened it upside down? Is there, is there such a thing as upside down? Oh. Hey up, hey up, can he get in? What's happening, please? Um, and it was one of my most successful videos. So. Oh, I think I have. Hold on, it's ours. Yes. Let's go again. Uh, yeah, it's one of my success most successful videos, the old Jackson Dinky. People get interested in it, don't know why. Well, I do know why, because it's a good guitar. So I've been thinking about buying another one for a bit. Because I fancy, oh, I don't know, I fancied, uh, I really, I remember really liking the neck. Really lovely. Compound radius, 12 to 16 inch. Well, no good for Steve, Steve Cassidy, that's for sure. But just, it was just really lovely. Jumbo frets, which aren't my favourite. Come out, come out wherever you are. But it was just, yeah, lovely neck. And then it was a white one, I sold it, and then I got a JS32. I've had two of those, different colours, basically the same neck. The same lovely, thin, smooth, plain neck. And I seem to remember thinking that the humbuckers in them sounded all right as well, for clean stuff and for overdriven stuff. So I was thinking that inexpensive at sort of 210 pounds, 220 depending on the colour. Maybe I should get one again and then I bought the jet. But I was, why can't I get into this? What's wrong with me today? Come on. Befuzzled, all befuzzled. And I've been down to London for work today. I'm tired. Tired and emotional. So I'm in the end. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a, look at this. What's in here? It's a miniature guitar. Or is it a Violin, I don't know. I've got a box in a box, in a box, in, a, in another box. It's a three boxer. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> okay. Has anyone had a three boxer before? God, this video's already two minutes long. So, I've never had a three, a three boxer before. Oh, wow. So, I thought I want to try one again and see if it's what I remember. And. I fancy something H H H I fancy something humbuckery buckery. And with a with a trem. Just just ooh. You alright? Little pointy head so. so here it is. And this particular colour, why not? It's different. The white one was out of stock as they nearly always are. We thought we've had a white one. Matte black looked good, out of stock too. Natural. Quite like a bit of bit of natural looking stuff. So let's have a look at it. Oh, that is lovely. Let's take that off. That is well packaged. Modern Mr. Jackson, stroke fender. Another one of these where the strings are wrapped up so it's not being looked at, it's just come straight from the factory. Right, so that is natural looking. There's a guy who's in a review on one of these who's a, some kind of a luthier guy. He's in his garage, American chap. He play, he's going to play some blues on it. Back of the neck, it feels a, almost unfinished, a little bit like a square bullet. And look at that thinness. There, it's like a thin U. That's what I remember. It's bound all the way around, and I have got no sharp frets. All 24 of them. Frets even look polished. Bad lighting here. It's getting dark in the UK. Amaranth fretboard. Look, you've got binding all the way around it. I remember the tuners being absolute gash. They were rubbish. <laughs> so. I'm guessing they're still rubbish. Plastic nut. Plastic nut. There. You can get this block, but you get some get up here-ness on it. Uh, what's the action like? Mega high. 
you might need to settle or <laughs> you probably need some help. Volume and tone. Click, click, click. And if I remember rightly, it was a pushy in arm. The arms in the box need to get it out. I don't seem to be any problems with it in terms of visual first inspection. Full, yeah, full size block in these, if that matters to some people. There it is. Yeah. Not too thick, not too heavy. Don't remember if it had neck dive on it or not. So I, I think at that point I wasn't even playing stood up scarf joint. But yeah. So that is a short unboxing of it. One thing that's nice about this neck here, although it's slim here, let's get your hand around, it's not excessively wide, it's wide-ish. It's not excessively wide. Fret would do with a little bit of a drink. Anyone else like amaranth? I, I, it doesn't put me off amaranth. It's almost the colour of ebony amaranth is. Yeah. Sharp fin inlays. Oh, hold well, on a sec. Ooh. We've got a bit of nasty glue going on up here. Let me get something, I'm going to poke it. I'm going to poke that with something. And just... Okay, that will come off. The sticky stickiness that will come off. I can't see anything else. The binding all looks good. The dots are in line. Hmm, 209 pounds. What do you think to the idea of natural finish? You know, should metal guitars be purple or black or white or, uh, I don't know, metal -y? Or can they be natural? They all finished like this. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm gonna have a little bit of a tinker with it, plug it in and see what it's all about. And, and I'll come and give you a few tones and a, a little bit of a thought on it as well. There we are. Jackson JS22.